Thank you. What do you think about when I say the word animals? We all have a type of connection with animals. When I was young, people only kept dogs, cats, birds, and fishes as pets. But now, people keep all sorts of animals, including exotic animals. But are these the only living creatures we care for? Hi, my name's Potion. I'm 11 years old. I'm currently in grade six UWC Thailand. And you might be wondering what a stupid 11-year-old is doing on top of a stage giving a speech. But today, I'm going to be the voice of animals that are unheard. Last year, I was walking around the neighborhood when I saw a man around 40 to 50 years old chasing a chicken. I was stunned. How could somebody older than me act so silly? So I decided to follow him. He went to his kitchen and drew a knife over the chicken's neck. In a blink, he cuts his neck. I was horrified. This was when I realized these are the cruelties animals face every day. This turned my thoughts upside down. Then I found out 24% of greenhouse gas emissions are from agri agriculture. It is discovered that cattle can produce methane, a powerful greenhouse gas also known as hydrocarbon. Each cattle can produce 250 to 500 liters of methane each day, which equals to 120 kg of methane produced each year. Research shows that there are around 2.94 million cows used for food in the US. So 2.94 million multiplied by 250 equals 735 million liters of methane produced daily in the U.S. And this is only in the U.S. Who knows how much is produced worldwide? Let's look at another food animal, chickens. Chickens are severely hurt, tortured, and killed as 18-week-old babies. Eight to nine birds are jammed into a cage with only 6.7 square inches of space. Think of it like this. Eight to nine of us are jammed into an elevator. In an hour, you're going to start feeling stuck. Stay there for a week, you're going to start feeling lonely and miserable. Chickens stay there for a year and a half before they're used as meat. Take pigs. Pigs are born into slaughter. When the pigs are three years old, in the US, they're stunned, then slaughtered. But in Asia, they're hung by their feet and have their head cut by a sharp blade or beaten to death. Mothers are forced into labor, where first, they're put into a cage just big enough for them to t turn and stretch their limb, but after they gave birth, they're forced into an even smaller cage, where they can only take a step forward and a step back. These mothers that just gave birth to their newborn child only get a couple months to see them before they're separated for new pregnancy. What if this happened to you? If you were a mother or a father, if your child was taken away from you, you're going to be really sad. This is what we do to animals every day. Have sympathy. Pythagoras, a legendary scientist who lived until the 490 BC, believed that animals have the complete range of human feelings. Sadness, anger, fear, shame, happiness, joy, excitement, etc. They feel the same emotions we all do. They're capable of crying when they're scared or hurt, and they're capable of missing their child. We have to take their feelings in perspective too. Dr. James C. Harris once said, an evolutionary mechanism to maintain social cohesion. In other words, animals rely on beings around them whether they're humans or animals. When we're killing animals, we're betraying the trust that they gave us. This isn't the only animal torture we do. Have you ever heard about cockfighting, Ron? It is entertaining for us, but is it actually fun for them? Cockfighting is a fight between two or more specially bred birds where they're put into an enclosed pit to entertain us for a few minutes to hours. It usually causes the death of both birds. Even when the birds get injured, they're not allowed to leave the firing pit. 
They have to keep on going until they're killed or have killed the other. People in England normally ask for money as a punishment for animal abuse, but in 2021, the punishment was raised to five years in prison. People in Austria are partially banned from cropping their dogs' ears or tails. Abusers are fined $2,450. After I saw all of this, I asked myself, why does Thailand take animal welfare so unseriously? With that being said, if we stop animal torture, greenhouse gas and methane emissions will decrease dramatically, and animals will be your friends again. Stopping animal cruelty will help us achieve a sustainable future sooner, because animal abuse is intentional and criminal violence where the animal's needs are neglected. So like Albert Einstein said, our task must to be to free ourselves from this prison by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole nature in it. There are living creatures that want to live as much as we do. They don't want to suffer slaughter and don't need our permission to live on Earth as we don't own them. This way, we can build peace between humans and animals. In conclusion, animals are dying because we eat way too much meat. If we eat less meat, animals that are dying to be our food source will stop and decrease. It's like a balance. If we eat less meat, animals will have more peace. Where else, if we eat more and more meat, animals will have less peace. And I would like to conclude with, all animals want peace, even the littlest creatures like ants. Thank you.